Students, this is NCRT exercise problem 2.46 from page number 71 of structure of atom. Right, so let's read the statement. Nitrogen laser produces a radiation at a wavelength of 337.1 nanometer. If the number of photons emitted is 5.6 into 10 raised to power 24, calculate the power of this laser. In this question, we are having a nitrogen laser who is producing a radiation of wavelength 337.1 nanometer. Now the number of protons that this laser produces is 5.6 into 10 raised to power 24. Now we have to calculate the power of this laser. Power means we have to check the energy of this laser, right? So for energy, we'll use the relation E energy or you can say power of the laser it is denoted by a capital E and uh, represented as NH nu. Now here N is number of photons. You can mention over here N equal to number of photons and uh, its value is 5.6 into 10 raised to power 24. H is Planck's constant and its value is fixed. 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 joule second. Now this nu is frequency. We don't have frequency in the question. So what we will do, we'll convert this frequency according to the given values. Now I know that frequency can be represented as C by lambda. Now this C is velocity of light. So you can mention over here, it is velocity of light. And this lambda is wavelength of light, right? So C equal to 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second. You have to remember this value, right? Lambda equal to 337.1 nano. Meter. Now, if you see, we are having velocity of light in meter, right? So, what I have to do, I have to convert this nanometer in meter to make the calculations easy. So, I know that 1 nanometer equal to 10 raised to power minus 9 meter. So, what I'll do, I'll simply put the value over here. So, 337.1 into 10 raised to power minus 9 and it is converted into meter, right? So we'll arrange our formula. So it will be N H C by lambda. Simply put the values over here and you'll get your answer. E equal to N H C by lambda, right? Now we have to find the energy of the laser, right? So N is number of photons. So 5.6 into 10 raised to power 24 into now H is Planck's constant 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 joule second. C is velocity of light 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second divided by this lambda is wavelength 3 37.1 into 10 raised to power minus 9 meter, right? Now, let's cancel the units first. So, I'll cancel this meter with this second with second inverse. Now, units of energy is joule. So, definitely we are getting our answer. This 10 raised to power 9 is negative in denominator. When I'll take this power in numerator, it will change its sign, right? So, you can mention over here 5.6 into 10 raised to power 24 into 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 into 3 into 10 raised to power 8, right? And uh, this 10 raised to power 9 will be 10 raised to power 9. Units we are having joule only divided by 337.1, right? So when you will multiply 5.6 with 6.626 and 3, it will be 111.316 into these powers are in multiplication. So you can simply add them. First of all, I'll mention the positive powers. So 10 raised to power 24 plus 8 
प्लस नाइन माइनस थर्टी फोर यूनिट ऑफ एनर्जी इज जूल ओनली डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट वन आई नो दैट थ्री थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट वन इज हायर वैल्यू देन वन हंड्रेड एंड इलेवन पॉइंट थ्री वन सिक्स सो टू मेक द कैलकुलेशन इजी वट आई डू आई सिंपली डिस्प्लेस दिस डेसिमल अप टू वन डिजिट राइट सो इफ आई एम डिस्प्लेसिंग डेसिमल अप टू वन डिजिट From left to right, power will be negative. The value will be one 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 three point one six and into ten raised to power minus one into twenty four plus eight. It will be thirty two. Thirty two plus nine forty one. Forty one. I'll mention over here ten raised to power forty one minus thirty four divided by three thirty seven. Point one units joule only. So when you'll divide one thousand one hundred thirteen point one six with three thirty seven point one, your answer will be three point three into n raised to power minus one into n raised to power forty one minus thirty four. It will be n raised to power seven units joule only. These powers are in multiplication again, so you can simply add them. So energy of the laser will be three point three into ten raised to power minus one plus seven and units joule only. So energy equal to three point three into ten raised to power minus one plus seven. It will be ten raised to power six. Joules. That means energy or power of this laser is three point three into ten raised to power six joules.